sit down. You stay. You stay, okay? Can you stay? Are you a good dog? Are you stay? Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It is going to be my makeup monthly for the month of May. This is where I go over all of the products that I've been trying out recently and I rank them from my least favorite to my top favorite. I do always do a creator shout out in these videos and I also do have one favorite book to tell you about so we have a lot to get through. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. Welcome to June. It's like 112 degrees in Vegas. <laughs> so there's that. Welcome. I did want to say that I filmed this eye look. It will be on my uh, Instagram reels, which is March Beauty Word. And I am using the new Kaleidos Flower Punk Palette. I did want to include that in this month's makeup monthly, but I just, I haven't done enough looks with it to be able to decide yet where I would put it. But I am planning to do my ranking all of the palettes that I've tried so far this year. That video will be coming in June, just like I did last year. And I will have that palette reviewed in there. But if you want to see how I got this eye look, it's super simple two eyeshadows on the lid, one on the lower left. It's, it's, you know, you know me. It's simple, but you can find that over on my Instagram. All right, so I have 10 products that I am going to be reviewing. Is it actually 10? I, I think I actually have 10 actual products, not even like 11, 12, or 13. We have 10 products to get through. Okay, starting at number, wait, we didn't do an OOTD. Samantha, get it together. Okay, here's the OOTD. The day is this dress, so it has a slit on one side, no slit on the other. I'm pretty sure I still have the tag on it because I need to cut it off still, but the back looks like so. And yeah, um, I'm actually going to dinner tonight with some friends and we are getting sushi. So this is what I decided to wear and I really like it. It is from a store called I'm like, wait, can I, can I look at the tag? Um, wait for it. I can't see. I think it's called like Lilyful. It's in the Miracle Mile shops. I was just walking through. It was the day that I went to Sephora and some of their mannequins caught my attention, some of the clothes in the window and I saw this dress and I thought it was really pretty. So I decided to buy it. Okay then. Uh, all right, let's get started with product number 10. I have a couple different skincare products in here. One was a big miss. One was a surprising hit for me but at number 10 at the bottom I have this one from La Roche Posay this is their vitamin C serum I mentioned this in a video I believe it was in a haul but I had mentioned Aries I'm speaking to the camera what is this energy about this is sitting on my other chair my like actual dust chair just staring at me like, I don't know what it is that she thinks we should be doing so like I said I mentioned this in the haul video and I tried it a few times and I had gotten some really bad breakouts after I first started trying this, like those big, like under the skin type of breakouts. And in different areas, I have struggled with hormonal acne. And every now and again, I can still get a breakout on my like chin, jawline, that sort of area. But I was getting breakouts like in the middle of my cheeks and on my forehead. And there was another product. What was it that I had started trying around this time? And I was like, oh no, it could be either one of those. Was it the hyaluronic acid serum? It might have been a hyaluronic acid serum. And so I cut out using this one and haven't had any issues since. This does have a lot of fragrance. I didn't realize how much fragrance it had until the first time that I tried it. And I was like, oh, because my skin is sensitive to fragrance. Yours might not be, and that's totally fine. Mine is though. So the first time I used it, I was like, oh no, this could be an issue. And like I said, since I ceased using it, my skin has gone back to being fine. So. Uh, this one is around like 30, 39, 30 to $40 was the price that I paid at Target. I know I had a bit of a discount with my red card and I think there was like a little discount on skincare also, but, uh, unfortunately it just, my skin did not agree with it. I have recently purchased the Desi vitamin C serum and, uh, I will be reviewing that next month. I just recently got it and started trying it out, but I've been having much better luck with that one. So Unfortunately, that one was a no-go and I'm super bummed because I've seen so many people recommend it Like I bought it because so many people were recommending it, but you know, it's skincare what works for some It's not gonna work for everybody. I number nine This is a new product and I'm really bummed about this one because I was kind of psyched for it And I don't usually wear products like this and I was like, oh, yeah, look at me Look at me go here in Vegas I'm gonna buy this like spray highlighter and highlight myself when I go to the pool and it's gonna be great 
and it was kind of a fail. This is from Patrick Ta, and this is the We Love Her Pink Pearl Major Glow Highlighting Mist. I almost smacked myself in the face with it. So that is what this is. So it's just a spray highlight. Now on here, it does say for face, and he did have one that was for body, but I think it was like a cream. And I was really interested in this to just to be able to spray it on. And the saleswoman at Sephora that talked me into so many different things, she said that this looked really beautiful at the pool, like on your legs and on your shoulders and your chest. And I was like, oh, okay. Like if she's saying that, like surely then I don't, because <sighs> the thing is, is like, it just doesn't show up a lot for me. Like when I put it on, I'm like, did I put that on? And it's like, maybe if I was just putting it, <laughs> My highlight is the Natasha Denona Super Glow. Okay. Uh, and I was like, maybe if I was, but I don't want to spray this on my face. I might spray it in my eye. Like, that sounds super dangerous. I wanted it for my body. I was told that it would still work well for the body, and I just don't see that happening. So that definitely bumps me out. Like, I still try, and I still spray it, but it just doesn't have that type of oomph. So I would love to know, do you have a favorite body type of highlighter i have never never been into these products never i've gotten multiples from like in pr especially from like soul body and i've given them all away because i just never wore these types of products in iowa but in vegas i'm always outside i'm always in like dresses or just i don't know i'm having so much fun with fashion out here i'm by the pool a lot on the weekends and i just want something that would make me glowy so this one did not work out for me. I'm very bummed about that, but I'd love if you had any recommendations for me. From here, honestly, I, I like all of these products. It was super hard to rank. I think this was the same as my last ranking video, like my Sephora rank, my Sephora haul ranking. I liked pretty much every product in there. And this is the same. I had such a hard time. I was like crossing things out and moving things. And I'm like, okay, Samantha, that's like about that deep. But I like all of these products from here on out just so we know. Uh, but at number eight, I have an eyeshadow palette and this is from Makeup by Mario. So I received a really generous PR package right before I moved from Iowa to Vegas. So I did not get to try anything before I moved. I just packed it all up and took it with me. And I started trying it, trying some of the products when I got out here, but I gravitated towards this eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure why. Not really sure why this palette in particular called my attention. This is the Glam Quads Rosy Glam Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really nice palette. So it's a quad and even though I like smaller palettes, I've noticed that I kind of like six, seven, eight shades, nine shades, somewhere in there. So that's kind of why I ranked it a little bit lower. It's because I feel just slightly limited with this one, but it's really gorgeous. And this shade is like so, like, that's like wet, you know? I mean, it's very beautiful. It's very easy to use. Um, the matte shade is easy to use. And then these are kind of more of that satiny type. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful shimmer. The quality is really good. I like the colors in here. I'm definitely gonna keep using it. You do have a little mirror. I was impressed with the eyeshadows. So I, I'm ranking it a little bit lower just because some of the products I'm ranking higher, I think I'm gonna use a lot more. I've also said recently that eyeshadow palettes are not like my main jam at the moment a lot of its complexion products and that's what you're going to be seeing more in these higher spots too at number seven i have another skincare product this was the surprising hit that i was saying this is from pharmacy this is their filling good hyaluronic acid plumping serum so i talked about this in a will i buy it video and i said that i love pharmacy they have become one of my favorite skincare brands. So many of their products work out for me. Their honey mask is a favorite of mine. Um, their, their AHA that I use at night, that is such a good one. Their Halo Honey Moisturizer is so good. Their cleanser, their, like they have so many good products. When they came out with this, cause it's a new product, I was interested in it, but my skin typically has not loved hyaluronic acid. I have tried so many different hyaluronic acid serums and I will say in the beginning, I wasn't using the ingredient correctly. You typically want to use it on damp skin. You really want to lock it in with something uh, really moisturizing, like a thick moisturizer to lock everything in. Otherwise, it's actually going to try to suck all the, the moisture and hydration out of your face and do the opposite. But even still, once I learned that, I, just something my skin just doesn't like the ingredient and that's just the way it is. You know, that's everyone's going to be different there. They sent this to me in PR and I kept looking at it. And I kept looking at it and I was like, do you want to give it a shot? And I was like, hey girl, 
come on over, let's give it a shot. And I was like, okay. So I started trying it. I actually really, really like this. I have been using it every night. This is the one. Am I, I, I just, I feel like I'm maybe not saying this correctly, but I think it is. I think I started using these around the same time and I was like, oh no, it could go either way. So I, I really thought it might be the fragrance in this, which is why I stopped using this first, but I kept on using this and I have had no issues. This one I use in my PM skincare routine. Like I said, I make sure my face is damp. Afterwards, I put on a pretty thick moisturizer. Right now, I'm cur currently using the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer at night, so it's really thick and hydrating. And my skin has been feeling good, let me tell you. Quite honestly, as I was thinking of words in my head of what to say, I was like, I should say that I'm feeling good. And then at the last second, I remembered the name is feeling good. And that is a true story. That is a true story, I could not make that up. But I, I'm pleasantly surprised because I've wanted to love hyaluronic acid. It's a really great ingredient for dry skin. It's really going to help with hydration. The word acid can sometimes freak me out a little bit, but it's not like your your AHA or your like turnover. It's it's really going to help hydration, uh, like that that plumping effect and and all of those good things. And I'm so glad I finally found one that works well for me. So. I will be wanting to keep this stocked in my collection because I've definitely seen a good difference in my skin since I started trying it. At number six, and then at number five, I, I, I didn't know, I put these next to each other. I Again, I like all these products, it was super hard, but what I put down for number six is from Persona Cosmetics, and this is their new bronzing stick. I have been trying the shade Dune. At number five, I put from Iconic London. This is their Sheer Liquid Bronzer, and I use the shade Caramel. I really like both of these. I think they have pros and, and cons for different reasons. I like a cream bronzer just a little bit more versus a liquid bronzer, but I like the liquid bronzer from Iconic London because once again, Again, it's just really easy to blend out and it gives a little bit more luminosity which I kind of am into right now I still do like a matte bronzer like the persona but just with my current makeup vibes and what I'm going for I like to be more on that glowy side and that's why I gave just a slight nudge over to the iconic London but the persona cosmetics is still really nice I have it on today it's really easy to use very easy to blend out I do build it up a little bit but it's still it's a really good product. I really like Persona Cosmetics. A lot of their releases are hits for me, and this this is a really good one. I would definitely recommend. And then same with the Iconic London. I mean, it's easy to blend out. You can like pile this bronzer on, and it'll still blend out. And like I said, it gives that really nice luminosity. Once again, I would say that I do build up with this bronzer, but it's it's really beautiful. It's so easy to use, even though it's a liquid. And while I am a cream and liquid girl, I'm still a little bit intimidated by liquids, but these two, like, if you have a preference, you know, if maybe if you prefer liquid or maybe you prefer something more luminous or maybe before more cream and matte, it's just gonna depend on your preferences. But once again, I would recommend both of these. It's a pretty good ranking video. And number four, I have the lip balm that I have on today. This is from Huda Beauty and this is the Silk Balm. When I first tried this, I wasn't so sure about it. I'm kind of particular about my lip glosses. I love lip gloss now, which is also strange because I used to hate lip gloss. I'm just very particular about them, but I think the first time that I used this, I wore a pretty dark lip liner, and I just like kind of wasn't feeling the vibe. I was like, oh, I don't know. I should have gone with something a little bit more nude. I really like how the lip liner looks on me today. I really like it with a lighter or more like pinky nude type of lip liner. I have on So Happy from ColourPop on my lips today. But this is a really pretty balm. It is pretty sheer. It just kind of has this like light pinky tone to it. It's very pretty, it's very smooth, it is not too thick, it is not goopy at all, which I really, really appreciate. So I'm glad because the first time I tried it, once again, I was like, mm, I don't know, but I'm glad that I got it with the right lip liner to suit my personal preference because once I started trying that, I've been wearing this lip balm every day since. It's very comfortable. Uh, I like that it's sheer, but it just offers just like a touch of something. And again, I cannot stand sticky, goopy, thick lip glosses. Those are a no for me. And this one is really smooth and a thinner, uh, like a thinner consistency and very comfortable on the lips. So I've been impressed with this one from Huda. And then at number three from Fenty Beauty, again, I kind of went back and forth. This is the, the Fenty Beauty under eye concealer. I kind of went back and forth with these, but I was like, ah, eh, e, ah. I love the balm and I've been wearing it so much, but the concealer is a very important, like not that lip gloss isn't important, but 
Concealer is very important to me and I like I like this one just a touch more. So from Fenty Beauty, their Bright Fix Under Eye Brightener, I have the shade Deep Melon. I like this one a lot because it, it's a li this particular shade is a little peachy on me. Uh, I am wearing this one today, but it's just like a little bit on this peachy side. So it really helps kind of cancel everything out. Any sort of darkness or blue, um, you know, like the blue veins that I have under my eyes, it cancels everything out. It is very lightweight kind of reminds me a little bit of the Armani power fabric with how lightweight and easy to blend that one is. You can use your fingers to blend this out. That's how, that's just like how smooth and easy it is, but it gives a really flawless, once again, smooth coverage to the under eyes. I do find this to be brightening, but in a, I want to say like a natural way. So this isn't brightening as in like the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder, which I used to be obsessed with that. And I used to want like white under eyes. I don't know why we've moved on from that phase, but some people still like that. And that's totally fine. Who cares? Like it's your makeup preferences. No one should care. Uh, but me personally, I do not, I no longer like that look, but I still like a brighter under eye, but in that more natural way. And that's what I feel like this one does. So that's why I like it. But if you like something that's going to be more of that, like really intense brightening, then this might not be the one for you. So I can see how like the name, the bright fix could be a shade thing too. But again, for me, I like the cancellation and I like that natural brightening a lot, but I just love the consistency. I love the coverage on it. It's not too heavy. It's not drying, which I really appreciate. And I've been, I've been a big fan of that one from Venti. Number two, I have another eyeshadow palette. <laughs> if you've been watching my recent videos and I've like mentioned what I've had on my eyes, you probably were like waiting for me to talk about this one because I've been wearing it so much. This is from Sigma Beauty and this is their ambiance palette. Sigma is just, I, they're just like doing it. I don't know, with their eyeshadow palettes, like they are just freaking doing it. This one is so, so beautiful. It's so perfect for summer. I just, I think it's gorgeous. I've been wearing it so much. Like I said, eyeshadows, I'm going for looks that are really simple right now. Even though this one, even though we have like bright green going on, like I said, it's two shades on my lid. I keep grabbing like two shades from this palette and using them. But some of these toppers are just so, so beautiful. Like look at some of these shades. Like, I, I, I don't know, they're just, they're just so pretty. These are two of my favorites, which is uh marigold and then also luster marigold and luster a lot of times i've been wearing those i even wore the gold i think i've worn every shade yes i've worn every shade out of this palette <laughs> every single one i have worn even that i don't go for the gold all that often but i've even worn the gold from here i mean even candlelight is like this beautiful like bronzy tone it's just look at that it's, it's so pretty. Sigma's eyeshadow formula, I'm telling you, I've been talking about this formula since what? Since what, Corderosa? Maybe it was Corderosa, or was there a palette before that that I became obsessed with? But they're just killing it. Their eyeshadow um, palettes come with a double-ended brush. Sigma has amazing brushes, I highly recommend. But you have been seeing this one. I always link all my makeup in the description box. You have been seeing this in my description box the last several videos because I just could not get enough of it. So I am a, a, a Sigma affiliate, so I did get this set in PR, and my affiliate code is Samantha if you're interested in grabbing it, but I think it's, I think it's excellent. I think it's excellent. Uh, oh, before we get to number one, I'm holding the product. Let me put it down. Before we get to the number one product, I do like to do a creator shout out. I've been doing this in my makeup monthly videos for the past couple of years now. So let's hop into that. All right. So like I said, I love doing the creator shout out. Kind of my motto that I've taken on on YouTube is community over competition. It's just something that I really stand for. So I'm always trying to give shout outs. And so I've just been including one in my makeup monthly for a while. Sometimes I like to pick a creator from the community. Will I buy it playlist? So I started the Will I Buy It series like four or five years ago or something at that point. And after about a year of doing them consistently, more people started doing them, which was really fun. And I decided uh, last year or two years ago to put together a community playlist. So any creator who makes that style of video where we talk about new makeup releases can add there. So you have one place where you can go to for all of your makeup news. And you know, everyone kind of does it in their own way or their own style or focuses on indie makeup or high-end makeup, or I've seen people um, just specifically 
quick they talk about perfumes you know whatever it is I think it's so fun to watch all of those so for this month's a creator shout out I wanted to mention Kendall Elizabeth so I've been watching her videos for a hot second now I think I probably just found her either through the community playlist but also through my comment section because I've seen her in my comments quite a bit and also over on Instagram and it's just it's a great, this community is a great way to be able to meet people when you're genuinely interacting with them and not just, you know, doing like the spam thing or just like asking for stuff, but like when you genuinely find people that you want to connect with and you want to talk to more, it's such a great way to be able to meet people and I just find her to be so sweet. Like the word that pops into my head is like adorable, which I, I, never, I feel, sometimes I feel weird saying that word, but her videos are just so positive and so bubbly and I, I love that because not every day is sunshine and rainbows for me. You know, I try to come online and I try to come in my videos and be happy and be positive because I love my job and I love what I do, but you've obviously been able to see through my vlogs too, I'm going through a hard time and it's a lot of days I just sit here and cry and that's all it is. And I turn to YouTube and I find myself turning to more and more videos where the creators just have that little extra like pep in their step and it just makes me have that extra pep in my step and I love finding people like that. So Kendall does a lot of videos. I believe she calls the Will I Buy It series to is it toast it or roast it? Toasted or roasted? It's so like people are so much more creative with their names. When I started it, I was like, I should do a video talking about like, will I buy these new makeup releases? I'm gonna call it Will I Buy It. And then I just felt like I was in too deep to change it. So I just I just kept it. But people are so creative. But I mean, you know, she does hauls and she just talks about makeup over there. And I love channels like that. And I love finding good good people and you know good gems in this community. So I'm gonna link her channel down below. I would love if you went and said hello to her, let her know that I sent you. I think that that would be awesome. So that's my creator shout out and let's hop over to my top pick. All right, also, if you keep an eye on my description box to see what makeup I'm wearing, you have seen this mascara I've mentioned in pretty much every video since I bought it. Since I, I I'm sorry, I did not buy it. I did get it sent to me in PR since I received it. Uh, I have been wearing it pretty much nonstop. I think the only other mascara I've worn during these past couple of weeks have been the Maybelline Sky High because it's great and it's mine's almost gone. I'm gonna buy another one. But this mascara is brand new. This is from Lawless Beauty. This is their one and done mascara. I also really enjoy Lawless Beauty. There's a lot of their products are hits for me. Kind of reminds me of Persona in that way. They don't come out, St. Lawless and Persona, they don't come out with a ton of releases, but when they do, they're really quality. <laughs> and I, you know, I can appreciate quality over quantity for sure. But this mascara just launched and I think it is so fantastic. It is very lengthening. It is also volumizing. It has the, these little like, spikiness on the end there's like a little ball on the end of the wand where annie um i was able to do a class with annie over zoom of course one day i'm gonna like i'm putting it out there one day i'm gonna meet annie lawless and i'm gonna be so excited for when that day happens because she has been a huge inspiration and i remember she was doing a q a one time several months ago and i wrote into the q a and she wrote me back um a really nice message and it was when I was just, woo, I was like at rock bottom and she had really nice things to say. So when someone like that can take time out to answer a question like that, like, woo, woo, that's something you don't forget. But I did the class with her and she was explaining that the, the ball on the end here is to actually like style the lashes. So you use it like regular, you know, push your lashes up and then you can turn it and you can use this end of the wand to kind of um, style the lashes, you know, push them this way, push them that way, like whatever it is that you want to do. And, and I use that all of the time and it's just such a good mascara. It's truly one and done. One, like I have one coat on today. Can you, wait, hold on, can you see me? I have one coat on today. That's it, and it also doesn't move. The first time I tried this, I wore it, and it, it wasn't 112 degrees, because I think that's the first time I've seen that temperature in my car, but it was still really warm here, and it did not move. I will say, when I wear two coats, I can get a little bit of flake, just flakiness. It doesn't smudge or smear or transfer in that way, but especially if I do the two coats, I can get just a few little flakes on my lashes, but it's like, at the end of the night it's like past the eight hour mark and they're just a little bit and really you can like barely see it and so that makes me really happy so but honestly you really just need the one coat and when i do one coat i have zero transfer zero flakes 
the whole shebang. So I've been so impressed with this. Like I said, it's pretty much the only mascara that I've been wearing and I think it's fantastic. So I highly would recommend the one and done mascara. I don't wear lashes a whole ton, false lashes a whole ton. And especially right now with kind of my makeup preferences, I'm really not going for the false lashes a lot. And that mascara I just think makes my lashes look really good and I think it's great. So those are the 10 products that I have been trying out recently ranked from my least favorite to my top favorite. Like I said, I do like to include a book review if I do have a five star book that I reviewed on my blog. I have one of those for the month of May, so I will jump into that next. But if this is where you end, if you're not interested in the book stuff, this is where you end. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. But let's hop over to my book review. All right, so if you didn't know, I'm also a book blogger and a self-published author of eight. I have recently finished writing my ninth book. It is in the middle of some rewrites right now, but uh, I'm real glad. I'm real, I finished it right before I left Iowa and I was super happy about that, but we're just doing some rewrites making sure everything makes sense. But I am also a book blogger, so anytime I have a five-star book review on chickletplus.com, I do mention it in this video. I do also have a book club if you are interested. I do run a book club through my YouTube memberships. Uh, so I started YouTube memberships a couple of months ago and uh, a huge thank you to my members who vote on the videos, watch the videos, those who come in my live chats and do the book club with me. A big reason why I started YouTube memberships is because I was so lonely. <laughs> And I really wanted to have like a girls night. <laughs> so thank you to everyone who joined and takes part in that because you really helped me more than you could have ever have known at the time. So I really appreciate it. But the first level of YouTube memberships, everyone gets that member exclusive video. This month I did uh, a day in my life in Vegas and I thought it was a super fun vlog how it ended up turning out. And then the second tier is a live chat with me every month. We do it over Zoom. And then every other month, the focus is the book club. So one month is just like chill. Sometimes we do skincare, makeup, just drink wine, hang out, drink juice, whatever you wanna do. Uh, but then every other month we do the book club. So we all read the same book. I put together like a reader discussion and then we really, we use the whole hour and we chat about the books and it's been so fun. It has been such a highlight for me. And I just, I love doing it. I love doing it so much. So I love reading. I love the book club. Thank you to everyone who's a part of it. But the five-star book that I had on Chocolate Plus is called It Had To Be You. And this is by Georgia Clark. I loved this book because it follows a wedding planner. And if you didn't know, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this anywhere, so I don't know how you would know, but I used to intern for a wedding coordinator uh, back in Iowa when I was, gosh, I was really young. I think I was just out of college. Maybe I was still in college. I think I was maybe just out of college, but I interned for a summer with a wedding planner because I thought that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Turns out I don't. Turns out that is not what I wanted to do. But for some reason, I still really love books about wedding planners. I think it's so cute. I love the chiclet genre. You know, my book blog is called Chiclet Plus. But this one I thought was really interesting too because we followed this wedding planning business that was run by Liv and her husband, Elliot. But Elliot passes away and he dies suddenly. But when he did pass away, he left his half of the business to his, his girlfriend, which is awkward because he was married to Liv, but he also had a girlfriend named Savannah. So not great. Uh, Liv and Savannah have to now team up together and try to keep this business afloat and, and keep planning all of these weddings while doing it together. And you know, of course there's a lot of awkward moments, a lot of moments that made me really frustrated and angry. But I really also love this book because the entire cast is very diverse. I got to interview the author Georgia Clark for my Start Inspired podcast. Uh, she was one of the final episodes of season four, I just wrapped season four, season five will be coming back shortly. But I got to talk to her and really ask her, you know, why, why was it so important to her to write this story that really has such a colorful cast, all different types of relationships that you could imagine. And I, I thought it was so great because what I told her was that it felt like, you know, our traditional rom-com with like the meet cute and we have a couple in there that are like fake dating because he needs his trust but you know, all those things that you find in the romantic comedies, but there's a deeper element to the book and it just feels more of the society that I actually see, the society that we actually live in. And it doesn't just have 
these two characters and these two characters and this man and woman and this man and woman and this man and woman and this relationship you, you know it's just it's all over the board and it's a much better representation of what our world actually looks like and how we actually live freely and i love that so so much it was so well written georgia clark was such a gem to interview i can link our podcast interview down below because she had some really really great things to say in there and i just i loved the book it'll give you so many feels it'll make you laugh it made me tear up of course because what doesn't uh, but it also just makes you happy it makes you believe in love and it makes you believe in happy endings but it also lets you know that it can be really really hard to get there but i i loved it i thought it was such a good book i had to give it five stars i hope that you will check it out too it's called it had to be you by georgia clark that is my five star book for the month of may and after that that is going to do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed seeing my makeup monthly ranking all of these products my creator shout out my book review definitely let me know what you thought in the comments and as always if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video